Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome back to the Ice Ikran Festival, a celebration of all things winter, including ice climbing, as you can see behind me. Now, today we're going to get some expert advice from Liz Bayon. Now, she's a guide, she's an expert, she's an athlete, and she's going to teach us about movement on ice. This is Liz, and I am so privileged that you are my teacher today. Amongst many of your accolades, you've won a Pile d'Or, so I feel in very safe hands. Liz, how long have you been ice climbing for? I've been ice climbing since 15 years old, so it's been now uh, more than 15 years. So Liz, I would describe myself as an enthusiastic intermediate. I've done a bit, yeah. but I certainly need help getting to the next level. And I think for a lot of people, when you start ice climbing, it, it, there's, there's a movement thing that you don't think about because it's the same with rock climbing. You have to learn how to move exactly. on the wall. And especially in ice climbing, because we have a lot of gear, we have crampons, we have uh, axes, and we are so focused on the way on how to use it that we um, generally, when, when we are a beginner, you forget to think about how to move, which is very important because you would think that it's very physical but if you know how to move it's much easier. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to climb a pitch of ice. You're going to watch me critique. I'm going to come down. You're going to tell me some tips and I'll try it again and hopefully improve and hopefully you guys can learn something as well. So Liz before I get going is that one thing I can have in my head for that first try? So that it's about, uh, axe is not about strength, but about speed. And uh, so your axe is designed actually to, uh, to, to get a good swing. Um, so it's not because you're eating arms that you will uh, be better. You will break a lot of ice, but it won't work. So it's just about giving him some speed and making it turn around his finger, finger here and giving him a swing. Okay, if you look at my arm, I have this part moving, but not that one. And it's really about, okay? That is, that is really good, because I'm definitely guilty of sort of hacking at the ice rather than precision at the ice. All right, I'm gonna have a go. Watch, tell me how terrible I am, and I'll see you back on the ground. Liz, I'm down. I was aware that you were watching. It made me a little bit nervous. So what did I do right and what could I improve on? You're not too bad. <laughs> uh, so what you can improve, it's especially about your left hand that you're always standing in on the left side. I don't know why. You want to go to the top. So you really want to aim to uh, eat the ice above you. This is a triangle theory. When you have your ice here, you want uh, to have your, your weight body on the same axis of uh, your ice axe. So you have to, to form a triangle, like very steady, steady on your feet, at the same level, eye on your axe. You're going to put the other axe uh, above, but with two distances. And because you're on the right one, you want to move a little bit on the left and recreate the same triangle. Okay. And then right and re recreate it. Okay, and you have to push with your legs in the same time as, as you're pulling. Okay, so let's try to remember what Liz told me. Triangle, not going too wide with my hands. So underneath my body, not wide, close. Remember to go very far with your hand, a bit higher. Okay. So Liz has just told me that I need to do bigger movements, so a bit higher. So let's try that. Even higher. <laughs> She's shouting at me higher. Okay. 
Just get hit in the face. There we go. So higher movements. I'm trying to keep this long reach triangle. I'm trying to keep my whole body in a little bit. I certainly feel far more efficient when I'm moving. Faster. And it's actually less pumpy. I guess because I'm not trying to do big wide movements and just keeping everything tight and in. It feels far better. Got a top rope in the way now. Hey, at the belay, Liz was shouting some tips at me as I was climbing, which was useful. I wasn't stretching up high enough, so that helped when I started doing that. Can't wait to see what she says. Okay. Liz, first of all, that was so much fun. I didn't really want to come down. But more importantly, did I use your tips properly? And what could I improve and change for future climbs? I think you're quite good. Uh, and you really tried uh, to, to bring back your, uh, your left arm on, on a good direction and go further. So it was very good. Uh, maybe the tips I, I would tell you is even more on steeper things is that if you can have your two feet on the same level before moving the other axes, it will uh, allow you to go further and to be more stable. Yeah, a few times I felt like I was almost standing on one foot. Exactly. So I ideally want two straight. Yeah, exactly. And uh, to, just to go a bit further. And what I wanted to say is, uh, and we haven't talked about it because you're doing very well, is about your hips. Uh, it was very good because when you're moving, when you're climbing, when you move your feet, you're putting your hips backward. And when you're trying to move your axe, you're putting your hips in, so it's perfect. So I subconsciously nailed something, that makes a change. Uh, Liz, thank you so much. Like In a short period of time, I I've genuinely learned so much. And this whole festival is about learning, about improving your skills, so I can understand how you get better. Um, Liz, what we're gonna do now is uh, leave you guys with a treat. Liz is gonna climb the route as it properly should be done. So here's a pro doing pro stuff. Liz, thank you so much. You're very welcome.